when politicians use the phrases tough on crime and smart on crime, it is sometimes hard to tell the difference. And I think one of the reasons why it may be hard to tell is because even the politicians who talk about being smart on crime often are afraid to talk about being smart on violent crime. <laughs> what they really mean is they want to reduce some sentences maybe for lower level offenses um, or they want to take a different approach to marijuana. And so they're trying to emphasize in that context, let's be smart about it. But I think if we were to really ask what those terms mean, maybe not how politicians use them, but in general, you know, tough on crime is a strategy. Uh, it's saying we're going to be as tough as possible in response to criminal behavior. Whereas smart on crime is really asking us to focus on results. What's a smart way to deal with the problem of crime? And I think what's important to realize is for those people advocating tough on crime, there's an implicit assumption they have that it works, that being tough will be tough on crime. Uh, but when you actually look at the data and the evidence, what you often find is that these approaches are superficially tough and they're certainly tough on people and on communities, but they actually don't do a whole lot to lower crime rates. And in fact, many of the tough approaches end up increasing the risk of crime. So smart on crime really is designed to kind of turn people's attention to the fact that we want results and not particular strategies. If being tough works, great. Uh, but if you look at the evidence and being tough doesn't work, you know, it makes no sense to keep doing that. And so a smart on prime approach really emphasizes what we want are results. And the way you get better results is to be smart about it and look at data and evidence about what we know does and doesn't work in a given area.